Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a braided hairstyle on our mannequin. I have started just by making a side part here on the top of her head, and then I'm going to grab a section of hair here in the front, and I'm going to make two braids with it. You don't need to go all the way down with these braids. You just want it long enough that you can basically bring it to the middle of her head in the back, and then you can tie it off temporarily. So I'm going to do the same thing here on this other side. I'm just going to make two braids here near the front of her face. Alright, I'm going to be making a waterfall twist with these two braids and normally you would bring the strands in from the top and bring them through here. I'm actually going to be bringing them up through the bottom. So I'm going to take this braid that's on the top and I'm crossing it over the braid that is on the bottom and then I'm going to grab a small strand of hair here underneath it and just place that hair right through the center of those braids and then again I'm going to take the braid that's on the top and cross it over the braid on the bottom and then the strand of hair that I brought through I'm just going to lay it across to the other side. So you're always twisting these braids. This strand on the top goes over the strand on the bottom and I'll show you that one more time. You bring in the piece from the bottom right through the center and then the braid on the top is going to cross over the braid on the bottom and then you just pull that strand right over the top. And as you can see, I'm not going straight down. I'm kind of angling this back so that it's going to meet more in the middle of her head rather than down at the base of her neck. Okay, now that I've gone down to this point, I'm just going to twist these two braids together a couple of times and then again tie it off temporarily. I'm going to just take these strands that I pulled out and lay them down and then I'm going to do the exact same thing on this other side. So here on this other side, you're actually going to be twisting these braids in the opposite direction as you did on the first side, but you just want to remember to twist this braid on the top over the strand on the bottom the same way you did over there. So cross them like this, and then just bring the strand up through the middle. So as you can see, it's pretty much the same thing, just the opposite way. And just keep going back about the same distance as you did the first side. these braids done on both sides, I'm just going to take the ends of those and pull them both into the middle. I'm just going to remove both of these elastics and tie them off together. And you want to avoid getting these strands that you've pulled out into this main ponytail. Okay, so at this point it kind of looks like a mess, but we're going to fix it. And the other thing I was going to mention, before you tie these together, you'll want to work on this top part and get it smoothed down how you want it to look before you do that. So now I'm going to gather up all of these strands that we pulled out of the braid, and I'm going to gather them up a little bit higher than this elastic here. You'll want to get all of these smooth, and then if you're working on real human hair, I would suggest adding some pomade or gel to each of these strands just so that they kind of stay separate and free from flyaways. But I'm gathering them all together and I'm going to tie them off with an elastic. And then I'm going to take the hair in this little ponytail and make a standard braid with it. We're going to be making a rolled up flower with this braid, so depending on how you want that to look, you can do this braid tight or you can make it a little bit looser and that's going to make a fluffier looking flower. If you want to stretch out the strands along both sides of the braid, that would help as well if you want it more fluffy looking. Then I'm tying this off with a clear elastic just so that it will be easier to hide in the end. So I'm just going to take this and wind it up into a flower bun and pin it all into place. You can kind of use your creativity if you want to finish it off differently. I'm going to leave ours just like this, but a couple of options if you want to keep going. 
You could braid the hair right here and then take it up and wrap it around that bun so that it's just one giant bun and there's nothing hanging down except for this hair. Or you could actually make another bun underneath this one so that it's two buns and you can include all of this hair if you want as well to make an updo. But I'm just going to leave ours down. If I was working on my daughter's hair, I would probably curl this just to add to the style.